Field right here with Grady and, and Audrey. Right here? See, my nose chase is absent. He's absent. He wasn't in our, he wasn't in our class. Morning class, okay. Everybody gone to the restroom, got a drink? All right, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. I know Reagan and Morgan is here. Okay. Teachers, excuse the interruption. Any student who is participating in the spelling bee, please report to the library at this Good time. Morning, Thank Morgan. you. You are seventh grade, so yeah. you're there by Jackson. Beside Jackson, Reagan. Reagan, you're on the. I don't know how she's doing this. Okay. Maybe she's just having you guys sit down. Reagan. And Colson. Okay, go ahead and sit down then. Well, yes, but I, he put me in a certain order. Oh, what did you do? Maybe he did it on his end. Okay. Are they seated in order? I I don't think so. All right, before you guys get started, I want to tell you how proud I am of you because it takes a whole lot of courage to stand up in front of your classmates anyway and spell, but then to actually compete at the building level and possibly the county level takes a whole lot more courage. So. Very proud of you for your hard work. I'm proud of you oh, for your courage and your knowledge. Well, well, I'm there's there. no way I could do this. Okay, <laughs> gonna pick Even today. Uh, now I have grammar, Grammarly on every device. So it, I put him on I the other one. I just want to tell you that I'm proud okay. of you. I had already printed this one. Okay, I think everybody's here, but okay. 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 Right. Luke. Oh, Luke's not here. Uh, no. Luke, Luke Vernon, is he absent today? No, he's here. He's Somebody want to call for room. him? Whose class is he in? It's two to We got the car moved. Oh, we had to move the car. I'm so One sorry. of the cafeteria workers was upset that we parked in this spot. Oh, so we okay, moved good. our cars. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we're, we're back. Okay, catch your breath. Do what you need to do. Yeah, we got time. It's all right. <laughs> Are they uh, seated in this order right here? Who is doing the okay, incorrect yeah. one? Uh, yeah. Oh, Do you need a chair back there? That would be wonderful. I can go get a chair. I'll get a chair from over here. I can tell right now that they're not. They're not. Do you want them in this order? It would be helpful in okay. order to. We're going to change your seat. 
When they get it wrong, I'll talk to you. When you get, get it wrong, you just go. <laughs> yeah, they get it wrong. Um, you need paper? You need scrap paper. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, we have some. Thank you so much. That's all right. You can have one of the comfy chairs. I'm flexible. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to give them the rules. Thanks, Brian. Caden's not here. Caden's not here. Yeah. I'm actually. And I'll see if I share and delete her list, and I'll give that list to you. I can just take a picture of it. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Did you leave that with Jane? This copy, or do you need me to make a copy? Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to call the person. Mm -hmm. Just give them mark if they make it through the round with one. Yeah. And then if they make it through the second round, mark two. So that okay. way we keep track of rounds. And just remember that they're in order. There is a front. And there's a back. Pardon? Oh, and yeah. Uh, I'll probably grow. And then these columns, you do an X once they get out. This one. Okay. Does I'm sorry, can you actually have an error? I'd like to put an error and say, oh, I guess we all have to do something else. Yeah. Yeah. So just ask. Yeah, so when they're out, they're out. Yeah, and if you want, we can take a new Like Luke, what I do is Do you want him to send us to the floor? Yeah, I think that just standing right here. Do you want to put the table on the floor? Sure, yeah, I think. I will do my best for you. I mean, that way you can give me a number. Okay, so I'm a dealer. If you want me to do card events, that's fine. If you just want to get that, because that one's just a good one. If you want to, if you want me to do this, and you just take the words and then make a presentation, that's what we normally do. We normally have two people. Oh, are you, uh, you going to be here for the whole thing? Yes, I will be. Oh, great. Okay, I didn't know you were going to be here. I'm so sorry. Well, it was, um, you're the pro, but I'll be the back. I put one on that side with you. Okay. Then there you go. I'll do this part. Okay. Okay, where you want them? Need me. I can also. Well, you can like right here. Looks pretty good. Here, let me. I'll scoot over one of those chairs. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want me to do the X or check, right? Well, I thought you were watching. Yeah, Jamie, you're watching the words, and then you can do the check for the rounds. And then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just making sure I don't misspell anything. I'm on track. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just gonna grab you a chair. Okay. All right. I've already 
which is why it's very, very important for you to enunciate, okay? Speak very clearly and loud, because if we can't hear it, it's wrong. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Baker will be calling the words. Do you want him to say a sentence or the definition? Are you going to have them ask for that, or are you going to do it automatically? Ask for that. There are going to be homonyms where I'll give you the definition. <laughs> right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Is the X where we are? Yes. Yep. We probably don't, we need six feet between us. So you want us three. to redo the X? Three. We just need three. Oh, just three? Okay, no, 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 no X is okay. fine. Because we can slightly move the lectern back and you'll be fine. Okay. There you go. Okay, we got it. We got our spacing. So you're going, we're going to start at the top of the list. Yeah. Which is Joe, so he would come up here. <laughs> look at Mr. Baker. <laughs> oh, we're going to do a practice round? We are. It sounds wonderful. Okay, everybody. Hi. Um, so my name, um, as uh, Ms. Harker said, I'm Dr. Baker. It's so nice to meet you. I come to you by way of Preble ESC, which is uh, basically where I am the enrichment coordinator. I try to do things like spelling bee, geography bee. We're looking for fun stuff to do. I have my mask down. I am fully vaccinated. And in order for you to hear what I'm saying and to see my enunciation or to help with phonemic awareness, that's what I'm going to do. I want to say that I'm really excited to be here. Um, congratulations to all of you. I mean, really, making it to a school spelling bee, that's big stuff. That's big stuff. Oh, it's awesome. It's big stuff. Uh, fun fact, I actually won my fifth grade spelling bee. Um, and before that, I didn't really have confidence in my ability to spell. Um, and now I can spell. And I actually, that what is what gave me the confidence to be like, oh, I can write a dissertation. I won fifth grade spelling bee. So if you all are going to win this, you never know. You could go on to uh, be a doctor, a lawyer, maybe even a ru world ruler. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. I think it would be fun. I'd enjoy that. So what we're going to do, um, just remember that if you need me to repeat a word, absolutely. Right? If I have done something wrong, which may happen, which may happen, I've got these two great people here helping me, making sure that I don't mess up. Um, and I am going to go through a practice round. I'm basically just going to give you all um, the same word so that you practice coming up here, saying the word, right, and going back to your seats so we can get all those jitters out. Sound pretty good? Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, I am going to start with Joe. Joe, you come on up here. And Joe, the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you a word, and your word is gel. Hold on. Put you know, this your is mask a... down. So like Joe, like like the gel you could like make and put on a sandwich. Ooh, good. So this word is a homonym, right? So anytime there is a homonym, I'll make sure to say it, which is a word that may have two different spellings and have two different meanings. The word is gel, um, and it is a semi-solid, apparently homogenous substance that may be elastic and jelly-like. So that is gel. Gel, G-E-L, gel. Very well done. You may have a seat. So yeah, that's how it works. There are going to be some words that have a homonym, right? Like gel. It could be gel or the other form of gel, I guess. Um, and so that's how it's going to be. Does that look pretty good? All right. Next person is going to be uh, Audrey, right? Audrey, your word is gel. Gel, G-E-L, gel. Very well done. We're cooking with some peanut oil now. All right. Is this Grady? Mm -hmm. Hey, Grady. Your word is gel. <laughs> G-E-L, gel. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, and so this would be Maya. Maya, you know what your word is? That's right. Gel, G-E-L, gel. Well done. All right, and then I have Aiden. Hi, Aiden. Your word is gel. G-E-L. Oh, make sure it's gel. Oh, yep. there you go. G-E-L, gel. Well done. Um, 
Students, I told my fifth graders and probably told you years before that say the word before you spell it so that we all know that you understand the correct word. Okay? Then spell the word and then say the word again so we know you're done. Okay? Some good advice. That is some good advice. Okay, so I had a Aiden, um, and then what's your name? I think I don't think you're Kyle, are you? Yes, he's Kyle. You're Kyle. Kyle. I'm sorry, Kyle. I missed you. You're more important to me than what I just made you out to be. I'm sorry. Get on up here. <laughs> All right. Hey, Kyle, your word is gel. Oh, gel. You believe it. Yep. <laughs> gel. <laughs> well done. Good job. And is this Macy? Yeah. Okay. Macy, I've got one for you. Gel. Gel. G-E-L, gel. Yes, well done. All right, um, Claire? Gel, G-E-L, gel. Well done, Claire. I have an Oliver. Oliver, your word is gel. Uh, gel? G oh, sorry. Oh, you're okay. Gel? M-J-E-L-L. I'm sorry. That is incorrect, but I'm glad we did oh, this. Oh, I got confused. That's okay. No. That's okay. okay. So this is what's going to happen if somebody, this is why we do practice, right? And don't worry. Thank you're you gonna for be letting us, thank you for letting us demonstrate that. So, I'm sorry, like gel and gel sounds mm -hmm. so similar. Like it is. It has two L's. It's so true. That's true. It is so true. But well, luckily, you. you still get to play. So you're good to go. You are thank good you. to go. When somebody does get a word wrong, just remember, it is okay. I promise you, right? I we're still gonna care about you either way. All you gotta do, you're gonna hear this ding. Just go back and take your seat. And then afterwards, I'll still come up to you and say you did a great job. Sound good? Dr. Baker, just one. Did you tell them what happens when they miss a spell? Okay, when you get it incorrect, you have. do they have the choice to stay and listen to the rest of it? They need to sit down until the round is over. Okay. And then we will dismiss them and keep going. Okay. So they do need to have a seat and wait patiently. If you, once the other person has received the acknowledgement of either being correct or incorrect, you can, if you are next, you can, as they start back, you can go ahead and get up and start out, out the row. All right? That'll help us kind of go just one or two seconds faster. All right? So we're not here till lunchtime because I get really cranky if I miss my lunch. Same. I brought pistachios for that reason. Not because she gets cranky, but because I do too. So. Mm -hmm. I understand that. If anyone's ever played baseball. I want to get to lunch, but yeah. my mom's being one of the um, lunch um, people that's making sure kids don't behave, misbehave. That'd be Good. fun. I wish I got Thank to see my you. mom at lunch. Yeah. So if there is, if anyone ever played baseball, you can just stand up over there like in a bullpen, right? Just be waiting to come on up. Does that sound good to you? I play baseball. Ah, well, yeah, I'll get the idea. You get the idea. So, yeah. um, uh, let me see here. Did I, um, was I all, Luke, Luke, same thing. My word's gel, right? That it is. Mass oh. down, please. Gel, G E L, gel. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Grady, I appreciate Colson. your sense of humor. Um, is my word gel? Yep. Gel, G E L, gel. Well done. Or we can come this way, Morgan, if you want. I didn't know which way. Oh, you can go whichever way you want, as long as you don't walk away from here. All right. Morgan, your word is gel. Gel. G-E-L. G -E -L. Yes, well done. <laughs> that was the hardest one I've ever done. This is Reagan. Reagan, your word is encyclopedia. I'm kidding, it's gel. What do you got? Uh, gel. G-E-L. Gel. Well done. Well done. All right, Jackson. And then Andrew, be waiting. Jackson, your word is gel. Gel. G E L gel. This is a good thing. I'm glad you brought this up. If you start a word and you misspell it, and then you go back and start again, that's still going to count as incorrect. Would you all follow that rule? Yes, yes that so is correct. So if it's gel and you go J, oh wait, 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 G, I'm sorry, that is going to be incorrect. So really think about what you're spelling. Even if you want to use your hand and write it out before you go up there and talk, you can. Or you can. in the air, you can also write in the air. Okay. And then, so is this Jackson? No, you're Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, your word is gel. Gel. G-E-L. Gel. Well done. Well done. All right, looks like I've got Dylan. 
And then Aiden be waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, and your word is gel. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. G E L gel. Okay, Branson, be uh, be over here, ready to go. And this is the thing that if you know you're coming up next, you're welcome to stand over here. If you want. I was gonna say that's what we were just discussing. Do we this have is Branson. Aiden. You're Aiden. Aiden. Your word is gel. G gel. G E L gel. Yes, well done. That was so hard. All right, Branson. And then is this Jolie? Do you pronounce your name Jolie or Jolie? Jolie. Jolie, okay. Hey, your word is gel. Gel, G-E-L. Well done, well done. Bobby, okay. Okay, this one more, one more change in the routine. Yeah. If you're next, you come this way. If you have Benny's, you go that way, and then you're gonna have people crossing in front of people, all right? That's great. Everybody catch that? Yeah, yeah. okay, so um, your word is gel. Well, that's, that's great. Um, Make sure you Oh, sorry. G E L. Gel. Yes, well done. That was so hard. All right, and then uh, this is uh, Abby. Abby, your word is gel. Gel. G E L. Gel. Well done. And then uh, is Caden here? No. Caden Brindley? Caden is absent. Okay. And so is Chase on the fifth grader. Yep. Got him. Got that. Okay, so uh, we are now gonna start official competition. Just remember that if you all get too loud while someone's talking, I will say gallery, and that's my way of saying I can hear you. It's kind of messing up my concentration and messing up the person up here's concentration. So make sure we're quiet when someone is speaking so that I can have total concentration. Sound good? All right, here's the ball, we're on it. This is great. So, let us get started. I'm starting with grade two. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like our first contestant will be Joe. And then right over there. And then Joe, no, 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 Joe, when you're done, you just go back around that way. Joe, your word is train. 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 T R A I N. Train. Yes, well done. Oh, no. Who is this? Grady? Audrey. Grady, you're going to stand over, over here. here. Wait, I go this way? Yeah, stand on this little mark over here. And when you're done, you go back over there. Oh, right. Yep. All right, this is Audrey. Audrey, this word has a near homonym. The word is sport, okay? It's a verb, and it means to wear contentedly or with satisfaction. Sport. Sport. S-P-O-R-T. Sport. Yes, well done. Okay, Grady, so this, uh, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is eel. It is a noun, and it means any of numerous snake-like fishies that have a smooth, slimy skin, often without scales. Eel. E-E-L. Yes. Yes. Well done. All right. Maya, right? Maya. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is fans, okay? It is a plural noun. And it means enthusiastic devotees of a sport, such as baseball, or diversion, such as ballet, usually as spectators rather than participants. Fans. Fans. F-A-N-S. Fans. Yes, well done. All right. This is Aiden. Mm -hmm. Okay, this word also has a near homonym. The word is tall. It is an adjective, and it means high in stature. Tall. T-A-L-L. -L. Tall. Yes, well done. And is this Kyle? Yeah. Okay, Kyle, again, this word has a homonym. The word is better. It, it is an adjective, and it means improved in health. Better. B-E-T-T-E-R. Better. Yes, well done. Macy, right? Yeah. Hey, Macy, welcome back. So your word is going to be hit. It could be confused with a similar word. It's a verb, and it means to strike something. Hit, H-I-T, hit. Yes, well done. And then this is Claire. Mm -hmm. Claire, your word is peanut. Peanut, P-E-A-N-U-T, peanut. Yes, yes, well done, well done. Oliver, hello, welcome back. Your uh, word, is bite, bite. It is a noun, 
Um, and it means a small amount of food or a snack. B I T E. Oh, bite. B I T E. Yes, yes, well done. So is this Luke? Yes. All right. Luke, your word is noon. And remember, you may ask for the noun or the part of speech um, used in a sentence, anything like that. Tell me in a sentence. Yes, during the summer, Willow was hard pressed to get out of bed before noon. Okay, noon. N O O N, noon. Yes, well done. Is this Colson? Yes. Hey, Colson. So this word could be confused with a similar word. Uh, the word is gummy. It is an adjective, and it means sticky. G, gummy. G U M M Y. Gummy. Yes, well done. Hi, Morgan? Yes. Morgan, your word is ray. Ray. R A Y. Ray. Yes, indeed. Well done. Is this Reagan? So, Reagan, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is mops. It's a plural noun, um, and it's a household implement, each consisting of a mass or absorbent material fastened to a long handle and typically used for cleaning floor. Mops. Mops. M-O-P-S. Mops. Well done. Jackson? All right, Jackson. Uh, your word is thanks. Thanks. T-H-A-N-K-S. Thanks. Well done. Andrew? Your word is dash. Uh, dash. D-A-S-H. Dash. Yeah, yeah, well done. Okay, is this Dylan? Yep. Dylan, your word is skin. Skin. S-K-I-N. Skin. Yes, well done. Is this Aiden? Your word is star. Star. S T A R. Star. Well done. Is it star? Branson, your word is began. Began. B E G A N. Yes, well done. Right. Jolie? All right, so this word has a homonym. The word is day. It's a noun, and it means the time of light or interval between one night and the next. Day, D-A-Y. Yes, thank you. Make sure next time to bring your mask oh, down a little yeah, bit. Sorry. Unless you're uncomfortable with it, I understand that. But just make sure you bring it down. Abby? Okay, your word is upset. Upset. U-P-S-E-T. Upset. Yes, well done. And that is the end of round one. Well done. Well done. Yes, yes, you all made it to the first round. That doesn't always happen, so congratulations. All right, so now we will be moving on to round two, where we will be starting with Joe. Hi, Joe. So this word has a homonym. The word is father. It is a noun, and it means a man who has begotten a child, a male parent. Father, S, never mind, F-A-T-E-R, F-A-T-H-E-R. Forgot to repeat that. Joe, I'm sorry that's incorrect, but thank you so much for participating, okay? I appreciate you being here today. I can do it. Joe, you started it, and you got past where you spelled it incorrectly, and you, you did correct yourself, okay? But under the rules, what we hear first is what we have to go by, okay? Thank you, Joe. You're still number one in my heart. So <laughs> there's Joe. Um, is this Audrey? Yes. Okay, Audrey, your word is going to be jam. This word um, has a uh, homonym, right? It's a noun, and it's a product made by boiling fruit and sugar to a thick consistency without preserving the shape of the fruit. Jam, J-A-M, jam. Yes, well done. Is this Grady? Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Grady. Your word is mugs, mugs. Mugs, M-U-G-S, mugs. Yes, yes, well done. Back to you, Maya. Maya, okay, so this word has a homonym. The word is fair. It is a noun, um, and it usually means an organized, usually annual event at which there are various kinds of games, rides, entertainment, and competitions. Fair. Fair. F-A-I-R. Fair. Yes, well done. Aiden? Yeah. Hey, welcome back. 
So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is dinner. It is a noun, and it means the principal meal of the day, eaten in the evening. Dinner. D-I-N-N-E-R. Dinner. Yes, well done. Kyle? Kyle, your word is rats. Rats. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So rodents that differ from mice by their larger size they, uh, and that include those which live in and about human habitations and in ships have become naturalized by commerce in most parts of the world and are destructive pests consuming or destroying vast qualities of food. And that's about all I'm going to read because I think you get the picture. Hey. Rats. R-A-T-S. Rats. Yes, well done. Hi, Macy. Welcome back. Hi. Your word is fed. Fed. F-E-D. Fed. Yes, well done. Claire, same to you. Welcome back. So this word has a homonym. The word is sir. It is a noun, right? Um, and uh, it means uh, used as a usually respectful form of address to a superior or another person. Sir. Sir. S I R, sir. Yes, well done. Well done. I'm actually glad that happened because I want to make sure my phone's on silent. Yeah, I'm already used to wearing the mask over school, anyways. Yeah, yeah, so am I. As long as we can. So you're going to leave your mask up while you spell or down? Yeah, maybe like this. Like that? Okay. All right, speak loud, okay? All right, so this is Oliver, right? Yeah. Hey, Oliver, your word is full. Full? Full. F. U L L is full. <laughs> no, after you're done uh, spelling. Oh, full. It. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. There Oliver, you go. Oliver, you want to say the word before and after, okay? Oh, you never said that. That way we we know you're done, okay? Good job. This is Luke. Yeah. Luke, your word is huge. Huge. H U G E. Huge. Yes, well done. Colson, right? Colson, welcome back. This word has a homonym. The word is born. It's an adjective, and it means having from or as if from birth specified or implied qualities. Born. Born. B-O-R-N. Born. Yes, well done. This is Morgan? Yes. Okay, so this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is damp, it's an adjective, and it means slightly or moderate wet, uh, wet, moderately wet, moist, humid, damp. Damp, D-A-M-P. Yes, well done. Is this Morgan? No, that's Reagan. That's Reagan. You were Morgan. Yes. I'm better than that. Okay, Reagan, your word is going to be from, okay? It's a homonym. Um, and it's a preposition, and it means used as a function word to indicate a starting point, such as something that is taken as a starting point and measuring. You get the idea, the word from. From. F-R-O-M. From. Yes, well done. So this means just Jackson again? Mm -hmm. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is hunch. It is a noun, and it means a strong, intuitive feeling. Hunch. H-U-N-C-H. -h. Hunch. Yes, well done, Jackson. All right, Andrew, welcome back. Andrew, your word is each. Uh, each, E-A-C-H, each. Yes, well done. Is this Dylan? Yep. Dylan, okay, so this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is ribs. It's a plural noun, and it's the paired curvy bony rods that stiffen the lateral walls of the body of most vertebrae and protect the organs that occur in mammals exclusively or almost exclusively in the thoracic region, and that form in human normally impairs a 12. Ribs. Ribs. R-I-B-S. Ribs. Yes, yes, well done. Would this be Aiden? Yeah. Aiden, okay, so your word is forever. F-O-R. Okay. I forgot to say the word before. Do you all accept that even if it didn't say the word beforehand? Yeah. Yeah, yes. you're good to go. So this is Branson? Mm-hmm. Branson, hey, this word uh, has a homonym. The word is freeze. It's a verb, and it means to stand or remain without movement or activity of any kind. Freeze. F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Freeze. Yes, well done. Jolie, welcome back. So your word is talking. 
Talking. T A L K I N G. Talking. Yes, well done. And this is Abby. Abby, your word is money. Money. M O N E Y. Money. Yes, well done. I believe that concludes round two. Yes, well done. Well done. Um, did Joe go back to his classroom? Joe, you can go to specials now, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Well done. Great job. Great job, buddy. Uh, picture. I did not do participation certificates, but I can still send you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but I can. No, we didn't know if we needed to give it to him now. We'll give it to him later. Yeah, I can send that to you easily. I have a PDF. I'm sorry. I thought that's what you were doing. No, I'm so sorry about that. Um. Okay. Um, where were we? This is our last this is, We're at 42. Yep. Thank you so much. This is Audrey. Okay, Audrey, hey. Your word is gallery, silence. Your word is couch. Couch. C O U C H. Couch. Yes. You better not spell that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people sit on it. All right, so this is Grady. Grady, your word is strands. 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 S T R A N D S. Strands. Yes. Good. Well done. Maya. Hello, Maya. So, this can be confused with a similar word. The word is chapter. It's a noun, and it's a main division of a book or treatise, usually beginning on a new page. Chapter. C H A P. T E R, chapter. Yes, well done. Hi, mm -hmm. Aiden. Hi. So uh, this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is chess. It's a noun, um, and it means a game for two players, each of whom moves sixteen pieces according to fixed rules across the board. Um, chess. C H E S S. Chess. Yes, well done. Hi, Kyle. So your word is. Uh, gonna be slimy. Remember, you can ask for a definition or uh, a part of speech. Part of speech. Uh, yeah, so it's an adjective. Slimy. Slimy. S L I M Y. Slimy. Yes. Well done. Yeah. Look at that. Sigh relief. Hi, Mason. Hi. So your word is squeak. Squeak. S Q E A K. Squeak. I'm sorry that that is incorrect. But thank you so much for playing. I appreciate it. All right, this is Claire. Mm -hmm. Hi, Claire. Your word is friend. Friend. F R I E N D. Friend. Okay, well done. Oliver? Yes. Hello. Your word is laptop. Laptop. And it's one word. Okay, so we're looking at like hole or something. L, oh wait, laptop, L-A-P-T-O-P, -P, laptop. Yes, well done. Luke, hey. Your word is movie. Movie. M O V I E. Movie. Yes. Well done. Colson, welcome back. This word has a homonym. The word is known. It's an adjective, and it means that is apparently or apprehended or perceived by the mind or senses. Known. Known. K N O W N. Known. Yes. Well done. Morgan, welcome back. Your word is suffer. Can you send a sentence, please? Yes. Geo only needed to suffer 10 more minutes in the car before they reached the lake. Suffer. S-U-F-F-E-R. Suffer. Yes, well done. Reagan, welcome back. Your word is double. Double. D-O-U-B-L-E. Double. Yeah, well done. Jackson? 
Your word is watch. Watch. W A T C H. Watch. Yes, well done. Andrew, your word is dream. Dream. D R E A M. Dream. Yes, well done. Dylan? Hey. Dylan, your word is beans. Beans. B E A N S. Beans. Yes, well done. Aiden? So, this word has a homonym. The word is child, noun, and it means a young person of either sex, especially between infancy and youth. Child. C H I L D. Child. Yes, well done. Branson? So, this, uh, this word has a near homonym. The word is space. It's a noun, and it means the region beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Space. S P A C E. Space. Yes, yes, well done. Jolie, welcome back. So this word has a near homonym. The word is princess. It is a noun, and it means a female member of a royal family, especially a daughter or a granddaughter of a sovereign. Princess. P-R-I-N-C-S-S. -S. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry, but that is incorrect. That's swag. Yeah, you got this. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Thank you for playing. Did she say that's swag? Yeah. <laughs> it just registered my mind. I'm like, wait, I'm pretty sure she said that. Yeah, all right. Abby, Abby, your word is, okay, so this word has a near homonym. The word is awe. It is a noun, and it means a vast reverence and fear inspired by authority or power. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Ava was overcome by a sense of awe when she entered the arena where her heroes played. Awe. A-W-E, awe. Yes, yes, well done. That concludes round, round three. That concludes round three. Well done, well done. So uh, for those that got out this round, are they going back to their classroom? Yes. Uh, Macy, yes. Oh. All right. And then. Uh, Good job. Great job. Well done. Good job, yes. Nice job, Oh, man. That Very backpack, well though, Yoda. Well done. Thanks for showing up. That must be it. Bye, <laughs> you two. Okay, so now we are moving on to, I believe, round four, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, so we are starting here with Audrey. Mm -hmm. Hi, Audrey. Your word is afar. Afar. A F S A R. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. But thank you so much for playing. I'm glad you were here. Okay. Hey, so this is Grady? Yes. Hi, Grady. Your word is cost. Cost? Mm -hmm. C-O-S-T, cost. Yes, yes, well done. Maya, welcome back. Your word is sidekick, and it's one word. So sidekick. S I D E K I C K sidekick. Yes, well done. Aiden? Yeah. Welcome back, Aiden. Your word is stuff. Um stuff. S T U S F stuff. Yes, well done. Um okay. That was Aiden, so now we're back. Kyle? Kyle? Yeah. Okay, so this word has a near homonym. The word is least. It's an adjective, and it means lowest in importance or position. Okay, least. L-E-A-S-T. Least. Yes, well done. Right. Claire? So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is felt. It's a noun, and it means a cloth constructed usually of wool and fur fibers. Can you please tell us that again? Yes, of course. Chloe decided to make her own teddy bear out of felt. Felt. F-E-L-T. Felt. Yes. Well done. All right. Oliver, welcome back. So, this word has a homonym. The word is wood. It is a verb, and its definition is used in auxiliary function to express insistence or determination. You kind of talk about how I do when I give out definitions. Yeah, yeah, we might be the same person. <laughs> 
So, would, right? Use an auxiliary function to express insistence right. or determination. There it goes out of my head. Would. W O O D. Would. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Wait, I said would. You said, wait, what do you mean? Would. Yeah, so when you use the word oh, would, you I use like the, would, oh, like I would. And then would with insistence is W O U L D. Like, I would love to go there. But don't worry about it. You and I are still going to be friends after it's this. A so you got error, something out of okay? it. It's a common error. All right. So, this is Luke. Yep. Luke, your word is shambles. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have resources of uh, questions that you can ask me if you need them. Use them in a sentence. Of course. After Alicia's cousin spent the day playing in her room, she had to clean up the shambles alone. Definition? Yes, a scene of great disorder. Here we go. Yes. Shambles. S H A M B L E S. Shambles. Yes, well done. And this is Colson coming up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Colson, your word is tail light. Tail light. P A I L L I G H T. Tail light. Yes, yes, well done. Morgan, welcome back. Your word is quicken. Can you use that in sentence please? Yes, yes. All right, so it looks like Gina's garden, which has looked so yellow and wilted, began to quicken after the days of rain. Quicken. Q-U-I-C-K-E-N. Quicken. Yes, well done. Reagan, welcome back. So Reagan, this word has a homonym. The word is presence. It's a noun. And it means the state of being in one place and not elsewhere. The fact of being in company, attendance, or association. Yeah. Presence. P R E S E N C E. Presence. Yes, yes, well done. Okay, Jackson. Hey, welcome back. So, this word has a near homonym. The word is raz, it is a verb. And it means to tease and banter, to ridicule. Raz. R-A-Z-Z. Raz. That's correct. And you're going to start using that word every day in your dictionary, I know. Because it is fun. Raz. Okay. Andrew? Hey, Andrew. Your word is followed. 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 F-O-L-L-O-W-E-D. Followed. Yes, yes. Dylan, your word is Purple. Purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. Purple. Well done. Aiden, welcome back. Your word is, and it could be confused with a similar word, entire. It's an adjective, and it means with no element or part accepted. Whole. Complete. Entire. E-N-T-I-R-E. -E. Entire. Yes, well done. Branson? Branson, this word could be confused with a similar word, okay? The word is December. It's a noun, and it's the 12th month of the Gregorian calendar. December. D-E-C-M. No, N. E. Oh, my God. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Well done. Thanks for being here, and we will still be close after this, I promise. All right, so. So in the in the judge's guide, it doesn't say anything about capitalization. Okay. It's just however they spell it. Because okay. I had that same question when I did this before, and okay. we had to go through. And I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Which you'd think it would, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, okay. So this is Abby. Hey, Abby. And your word is, and, uh, and it could be confused with a similar word. It's sudden. It's an adjective, and it means changing angle or character all at once. Precipitous. Abrupt. Subtle. S U D D E N. Sorry. Yes, yes. Well end done. of the round. Yeah, that is the end of the round. Great job, folks. Okay, Swagger. Well done. Nice job, guys. Well done. Okay. Nice job.
All you have to do is log. Does anybody need a break or anything? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're rocking it out. Great job. I, I wanted to, to tell you I already have coverage. Patrick Couch is in your room. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. As in, <laughs> Patrick Couch from Butler County. Patrick Couch. Maybe. I was about to say he's no, my cousin. No, he, he, worked, he worked as a teacher in Dayton School. I'll be intrigued. Maybe. Maybe. Another couch. Another couch. My uh, my grandma's maiden name is Couch, and so when I saw Mrs. Couch this morning, yes. I thought, "There's long lost family." It is. That's the type of mood I was in. Hazard, Kentucky. Yes, Hazard? our families are both from Hazard, Ooh. Kentucky. Yes, not to be mistaken with the Dukes of Hazard, which is fictionalized Hazard. in in Georgia. Hazard, Kentucky, near Rudder Hollow, where I, where my father came. We're from, from Oneida, which is about what seven miles away yeah, from where you are. Something like that. Yeah. So we're all family here. Of Spelling bee and family, family reunion. <laughs> Welcome to National Trail. I love this. I love it. Okay, so it looks like our next word is going to be... 78. 78. Okay, and... That's not the word, but the number. Stepping up <laughs> to the plate today right here, this is Grady. Let's go, Grady. Yes. Grady, your word is calmed. Calmed. C-O-M-B-E-D. Calmed. Yes, well done, Grady. All right, Maya, your word is patrol. Patrol. P A. Patrol. Yes, well done. Well done. Aiden, welcome back. So this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is window. It's a noun. Um, and the definition is an opening in a wall of a building or side of a vehicle to emit light, usually through a transparent or translucent material. And there's more to it, but I think you might get the idea. Your um, word is window. Window. W I N D O W. Window. Yes, well done. Kyle? So this uh, this could be confused with a similar word. The word is pocket. It's a noun, and it's a small cloth bag sewed or inserted into a garment, like the one that you are looking at. Pocket. P-O-C-K-E-T. Pocket. Yes, well done. All right. Claire? So your word is project. Project. Can you explain something? Yes, of course. There was no way to transport the flagpole without having it project out the car window. Project. P R O J E C T. Project. Yes, well done. Okay, so this is Luke. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Luke, welcome back. So, your word is goofy. Goofy, G-O-O-F-Y, goofy. <laughs> well done. Yeah, goofy, no, right? No. I had to, it was right there. I mean, come on, goofy, right? Yeah, Anybody? right, you got it. <laughs> oh, I had to, I mean, why not? Buddy, you. <laughs> All right, so, oh man, man, Coulson. man, man. Colson, welcome back. Your word is remember. Remember, R-E-N-E. We can't tell you. Oh, okay. Just R, uh -huh. R E N E D E R. Remember. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. I, think I forgot I a second in, but that's okay. I'm glad you were here. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, looks like we're down to Morgan. Morgan, welcome. Your word is travel. Travel. T R A V E L. Travel. Yes. Well done. Reagan, welcome back. Your word is cranky. Cranky. C, not cranky. C R A N K Y. Cranky. Yes, yes, well done. Jackson? No, that's not my friend. I don't know what that is. Jackson, hey, welcome, Jackson. Your word is career. C A R E E R. Career. Yes, yes, well done. Did you all hear that too? Yeah. I did too. There's something. I think there's a phone somewhere. I'm sorry. We just said we had a phone vibrating up here and we didn't know if it was. We were looking around like, is it our phones? But we don't it's know. okay. It's good. good. We are yep. good. Andrew. All right. So, Andrew, your word is disease. Disease. Uh, can you use that in a sentence? Yes. Although no one in the immediate family got the disease, the quarantine kept them all home for months. Uh, Disease. D-E-S-I-E-S. -E 
I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. But thank you so much for playing. Should we be giving them the correct spelling when they get wrong? Um, yeah, if you'd like to. Absolutely. Think, yeah, I think that would have been. Yeah, so Andrew, with this, uh, with this word, we've decided we want to give you the correct spelling. Um, it is D-I-S-E-A-S-E. -E. Yeah. All right, Dylan. Dylan, your word is trophy. Trophy. T R O T H Y. Trophy. Yes, well done. Aiden, your word is athlete. Athlete. A T H L E T E. Athlete. Yes, yes, well done. Hobby. Hobby, hi. Your word is jotted. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. There was no way Clement was going to remember his aunt's message unless he jotted it down. Jotted. J-O-T-T-E-D. Jotted. Yes, yes. Well done. That's the end of the round. All right. End of the round. End of the round. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, it looks like we are back up with Grady. Yes. Okay, Grady. This word has a homonym, okay? The word is side. It is a verb, and it means release slowly and audibly a deep, drawn breath. Side. S-I-G-H-E-D. Side. Yes, yes. Well done. Okay, Maya, your word is duo. D-U-O, duo. Yes, yes, well done. Hi, Aiden, welcome back. Your word is repress. Repress? Mm-hmm. Repress, R-E-P-R-E-S-S, repress. Mm-hmm, well done. Kyle, okay. So, this word has a near homonym. The word um, is either. Okay, so it's an adjective, um, and when faced with the two options, Maggie indicated that she had no interest in either. Either, E-I-T-H-E-R, either. Yes, yes, well done. Hi, Claire. Hi. Welcome back. Your word is rely. Rely, R-E-L-Y, rely. Yes, well done. Hi, Luke, welcome back. Uh, so, your word is chose. Okay, chose. C-H-O-S-E, chose. Yes, yes, well done. All right, is Colson out? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. thank you. Morgan, hey. Okay, so, your word is else. Else. E L. Else. Yes, yes, well done. Reagan. Hi, Reagan, welcome back. Your word is antsy. Antsy. A N T S Y. Antsy. Yes, well done. So, Jackson, this word has an, uh, a homonym. The word is Canada. Um, it is a geographical entry, and it's a country of northern North America between the Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic Oceans. Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. Canada. Yes, yes, well done. All right. Dylan, welcome back. So this word has a near homonym. The word is bison. All right, it's a noun, and it's any of several large shaggy uh, maned, usually bovine mammals, having a large head with short horns. Bison. B-I-S-O-N. Bison. Yes, yes, well done. Aiden, welcome back. Aiden, your word is dangerous. Dangerous. D-A-N-G-E-R-O-U-S. Dangerous. Yes, yes, well done. Abby. Abby, hey, welcome. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is pluck. It's a verb, and it means to pull or pick off or out. Pluck. P-L-U-C-K. Pluck. 
Yes, yes, well done. All right, and that is the end of the next round. Yeah, that's the end of the sixth round? Sixth round. Yeah, we're through six rounds. Well done, well done. I know. All right, so it looks like uh, we are back to Grady. All right. So, Grady, your word is squid. Squid. S-Q-U-I-D, squid. Yes, well done. Maya? Hey, Maya. Your word is frisbee. Frisbee. F R I B E E. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. But it, that is okay. It is F R I S B E E. But thank you so much for playing, Maya, and making it this far. Aiden? Hello. Aiden, okay. Um, so this word has a homonym. The word is teeter. It's a verb, and it means to move unsteadily. Teeter. T-E-E-T-E-R. Teeter. Yes. Well done. So, hey, this is uh, Luke, right? No. Kyle. 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 All right, Kyle. This word has a homonym. The word is rallies. It's a verb, um, and it basically means recaptures uh, initiative. Comes back, used especially of an athletic contest or team. So rally? Rallies, yes. R-A-L-L-Y-S, rallies. Ah. Sorry, but that is incorrect. It That's is a I hamburger know. joint. Yeah, I'm, yes. Um, it's R-A-L-L-I-E. But hey, thanks for playing and congratulations on making it this far. Claire, your word is pastry. Pastry. P A S T R I E. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. The correct spelling is P A S T R Y. But thank you so much for playing and congratulations on making it this far, Claire. Okay, Luke? Yeah. Luke, your word is coveralls. And it is, yeah, coveralls. <laughs> With a, yeah. So remember, you can ask me definitions, nouns, use it in a sentence. Definition. Like not nouns, but <laughs> definition, yeah. Ask, tell me all the nouns that cover coveralls. So the definition, it's outer garments worn protect other garments, uh, especially one-piece combinations of overalls and shirts. Okay, here we go. Coveralls, C-O-V-E-R-A-L-L-S, coveralls. Yes, well indeed, you did cover it all. Nice work. Okay, so hey, Morgan, your word is ponytail. Ponytail. P-O-N-Y-T-A-I-L. Ponytail. Yes, well done, well done. Hey, Reagan, I'm back. Your word is clatter. Clatter. C L A T T E R. Clatter. Yes, well done. What? What's wrong? We're on word number 111. Oh, it's not. Please pause for station identification. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you so much. Jackson. Jackson, your word, it could be confused with a similar word, okay? The word is snout, it's a noun, and it means the long projecting nose of any of various mammals, such as swine. Snout, S-N-O-U-T, snout. Yeah, well done. All right, Dylan, hey. So your word is tumbling. Tumbling, T-U-M-B-L-I-N-G, tumbling. Yeah, yeah, well done. Aiden? Hey, Aiden, your word is cradle. Cradle. C R A D L E. Cradle. Yes, well done. Abby, Abby your word is uh, going to be firefly. Firefly. 
I R E F L Y. Fire. Yes, well done. Seven, right? Round seven, right? Yeah. yeah, end of round seven. Congratulations. Um, for those of you that are out, are they going back to class? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And great job, folks. Yes. All right. Uh, we are, believe it or not, you are the only fifth grader left. Yes, I know. So, Brady, um, you're representing a lot here. You're doing well. It's not uncomfortable. No, Owen, where you're at. You should be excited for yourself. Owen, where you're at. This is good. Yeah. Very complicated. Yeah, but you're going to be great. Wow, you're up to it, buddy. Yeah. You're okay. So, let me see here. The following word has two correct spellings. Either one of the two spellings listed could be accepted as correct, okay? You only need to correct you only need to spell the correct way one of them. You don't have to spell them both. The word is humor. Humor. H-U-M-O-U-R. Humor. Mm -hmm. Even spelled it the British Standard way. Well done. Nice job. Well done. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Um, Maya's out, right? Uh, yes. yes, Maya is. This so is Aiden. 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 All right. Aiden, this your word is mention. Mention, yes. If you need me to use it in a sentence or anything yeah, like that, yeah, yeah absolutely. Anything. So Susie was thrilled that her report on the benefits of recycling got a mention in the mayor's speech. Mention, M-E-N-T-I-O-N, -E mention. Well played, sir. Okay, so Luke, Luke, Luke your word is, uh, it, so it could be confused with a similar word. The word is spoken. It's an adjective, and it means expressed, told, or delivered by word of mouth. Spoken, S-P-O-K-E-N, spoken. And well spoken to you. Nice work. So, Morgan, this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is bridge. It's a noun, and it means a structure built over a depression or an obstacle to travel, travel um, carrying a continuous pathway or roadway. Bridge. Bridge. B R. Bridge. Yes, yes, well done. Reagan. Reagan, welcome back. Your word is pinpoint. Pinpoint. P I N P O I N T. Yes, yes, well done. Jackson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jackson. So this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is slate. It's a noun, and it means a thin, flat slab piece or layer of laminated rock prepared in the shape of a shingle, and it's used especially in roofing and siding. Slate. S-L-A-T-E. Slate. Yes, yes, well done. Dylan, welcome yeah. back. Right, Dylan? Yeah. Your word is plush. Plush. P-L-U-S-H. Plush. Yes, yes, well done. And then Aiden? Aiden, your word is whimper. Whimper. W I N P E R. Whimper. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. The correct spelling is W H I M P E R. Only missed one word, but that is okay. Or one letter. I'm proud of you. Way to play. Abby, hey. So your word is bracelet. Bracelet. B R A C L E T. Bracelet. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. The correct spelling is B R A C E L E T. Yes, but thank you so much for playing. Well done. And I believe that ends round eight. That's in the round. Yeah. Okay. Great job, folks. Yes, nice yes, job. well, well done. You got this, bud. So, you best of luck uh, to mm -hmm. you two. So, very proud of you. last fifth nice grader, so last, sixth, last sixth grader. Look at that first aisle. Last eighth grader. Thank you. Last you guys got okay. this. You got this, Grady. Okay? You got it. Just think. Take your time. All right. Grady, welcome. What word are we on? 125. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, Grady, your word is inwardly. Inwardly. Okay. Inwardly. I-N-W-R-D. 
L Y N Y K. Grady, I am so sorry, but that is incorrect. Um, the correct spelling. I N W A R D L Y. But you just forgot the A. That was all. But it's nice okay. Job. I'm so proud of you for making it this job. far. For a fifth yeah. grader, How you made it much farther. Than... Yeah, no. You said you you said I N W R D L Y. You were just so anxious. You were you you know that word. I know you do. But it just just like a couple other people earlier, just kind of spoke too fast because you knew that word, bud. Okay. It's okay. You did really good. That's it's what really happened when I was in the spelling bee in elementary school. So it's who, okay, is this Aiden? This is Aiden. Aiden. Okay. Aiden, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is mobility. It's a noun, and it means the capacity or facility of movement. Mobility. M-O-B-I-L-L-I-T-Y. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. It was one L, wasn't it? You, yeah, it was only yeah, one, one L. one L. Yeah. Good job. All right, um, so uh, who is? This is Luke. This is Luke. Where's, did Claire get out? Claire got out. Oh, Claire got out. Okay, I knew better than that. Luke, all right. Luke, your word, um, would you, Edie or? No, it's an Eddie. 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 Got it. So your word is Eddie. Eddie. You probably need to get into And I, if, I would ask for everything you could on this. <laughs> sentence? Use it as a sentence. Okay, so Audrey dropped leaves into the streams Eddie and watched them swirl. It's a noun. And it means a current of air or water running contrary to the main current, especially one moving circularly. It's Eddie? Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Eddie, E D D Y, Eddie? Yes. Yes. Cool. Well done. Well done. That was a big money move right there. Okay, so we're, Morgan? Morgan, welcome. So your word is fanged. Fanged. Can I have that in a sentence, please? Yes. Tamika recalled her nightmare of a fang beast under her bed with horror. Fang. F A N G E D. Fang. Yes, yes, well done. Reagan, welcome back. And this would be O, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this word has a homonym. The word is bow. It's a noun, and it means a branch of a tree. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Yes, yes. The huge bow just barely missed landing on mom's new car. B-O-W? I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. It is B-O-U-G-H. But well done making this at this far. Proud of you. Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky word. So Jackson? Mm -hmm. Jackson, your word is cautioned. 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 C-A-U-T-I-O-N-E-D. Cautioned. Yes, well done. All right, and then Dylan. Yep. Hi, Dylan. All right, so your word is accuse. Accuse? Accuse. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. No matter how hard Cinderella worked, her stepmother would always accuse her of shirking her chores. A C C U S E. Accuse. Yes, well done. And that is the end of round eight. Yes. End of round eight. And I believe we have a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have we have six. Right? Oh no, we have five. Do y'all want to take a stand up and take a just a little? Do you need a drink or anything? Anybody? Need a restroom or anything? Everybody Great job, folks. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, all right. Really well done. Really well done. Oh wait. You all taking a restroom break? Yeah. Okay. I get a picture of you three up here. Yeah, absolutely. You want our masks off or on? Doesn't matter. Yeah, probably off. Okay. Don't mind. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Great.
Thank you, Mr. Rice. You're yeah, on the ball today. with the camera today, huh? It's your job, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. It's nice when there can be like photos to yeah. remember these events. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in um, K through 12, there weren't many photos taken. So appreciate your role in this. <laughs> oh, I had a lot of help. And thank you all so much. We're doing great. This is really oh, moving. Uh, you said you're on round eight. Yes, round eight. We're re well, we're ready for no. That no we're ready for round, round nine. nine. Yeah. Ready for we're round ready. Nine. No, okay. we're ready for ten. We're ready for 10. So what happens if you go through all these words um, at the county? Um, I have a district guide that has 300 more words in it. Oh, 300. Okay. And they're all different words. Some of them are yeah. the same as the school level, but only the first 75 are. Morgan, welcome back. So uh, are you going to win this thing? Oh, probably not. Well, you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're so you're going to do your best, yeah. right? I told my mom that I'm going to win. Like, I looked at the first page of the list. Uh huh. I'm just gonna wing this thing. You you need to you need to because uh, as of now I think we've only. I have had all of these students and mm -hmm. they are all very good spellers. We haven't had a, a female winner yet <laughs> in the districts. Well, they, she's got stiff competition here. Yeah, so. she does. you she's, all are you all are doing so good. great. You Every should be proud of, of you. yourself. Oh this is <laughs> folks. This is round ten. All right. I would have been out because I haven't. Use some of these words in so long, so snaps to you. Just be, be careful of your homonyms, okay? Let me All make right, sure. Are we ready? We have here? Luke, Morgan, Jackson, and Dylan, right? Okay. So, um, let me see here. We're gonna start with Luke, and the word is drowsy. Yes. Yes. Your word is drowsy. Drowsy, D R O W S Y, drowsy. Yes, yes, well done. All right, hey, your word is scoff. Can I have that in a sentence, please? Yeah, yeah. Though her parents might scoff, Morgan dreamed of being an actress. Scoff. Wait, say it again, please. Scoff. Scoff. S K O F. I'm sorry, Morgan, but that is incorrect. Um, you only missed one letter. The correct spelling is? It's S-C-O-F-F. -F. Oh. Yes, but thank you for making it this far. Well done. Um, okay, and then this is uh, Jackson? Yeah. Jackson, your word in, okay, this could be confused with a similar word. The word is opposite. It's an adjective, and it means diametrically different, contrary. Opposite. O-P-P-O-S. I T E opposite. Pause. You all accept that? Say it. Say it with a bit louder. Dylan just posed the correct one to me. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so that'll work. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll accept it. Your right. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey. What's going on? All right. So, Dylan. Yes. Dylan, your word is <laughs> instrument. Instrument. Yes. I N S T. R U M E N T instrument. Yes, well done. Nice job. So I think we're moving into round eleven, and we yes. do have a top three. So congratulations to the top three. But also rock star. Well done. Okay. All right, and just to, just to make you all aware, we are taking the top two to the all county spelling bee. So if you are finished in the top two, both. First and second place finishers will get an invitation to the All County Spelling Bee. All right, so we're back here to Luke. Mm -hmm. All right, Luke, your word is blissfully. Definition? Yes, in a manner full of, marked by, or ca causing bliss. Very happy. Sentence? Yes, um, it looks like Taisha entered the bookstore blissfully, knowing that she could pick out five new books for her birthday. Blissfully, mm -hmm. B-L-I-S-S-F-U-L-L-Y. Say the word. Blissfully. Yes, well done, well done, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jackson, welcome back. So, Jackson, your word is activists. Activists, it's plural. Activists? Yes, activists. Activists, 
A C T I V I U S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect, but it's okay. It's okay. The correct spelling was A C T I V I S T S. Which is a lot to do in your mind, trust me. I had, to, I had to keep my finger there looking at it. So well done to you. Congratulations for making it to the top three. Okay, all right. Dylan, I wanna make sure I get this right. Now that we are down to the final two, what's gonna happen is if you want to win, a person before you has to spell a word incorrectly and you have to spell two words correctly after that. Would you all agree uh, with that process? Yes, but he's the last of the 11th round. Mm -hmm. do, we, do we still doing rounds because now we're down to two? Because if he misses this one, then that would mean um, Luke. Luke, when you come up, you'd have to spell two words correctly. Right, exactly. And then, you just keep going. And then you would just keep going after that. Right. And I also have a note, if you all can just make sure to do the, the word, spelling, and word, even if you're not sure if you've spelled it correctly or not, just so we know you're finished. Okay. That's helpful for me. All right. Dylan, your word is commute. Commute. C O. Yes, I well done. One of those. So I think this is the round 12 ish. Round 12. All right, round 12, the two of you um, hang out for a bit because we want to take your picture when we're done for the top three finishers. Does that sound right to you all? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, Luke, this word has a homonym, okay? Mm -hmm. The word is cocoa, it's a noun, and it's a beverage prepared by cooking chocolate powder with water. Or milk. You are welcome to ask me more questions too, uh, because remember, it has a homonym and it is a noun. And you said it's cocoa, right? Yes, that, that is its pronunciation. There is no alternative pronunciation, cocoa, but there is a homonym which means there's a word that is spelled similar, right? This word can be spelled multiple ways, but it has different meanings. I think he knows, yeah. Yeah, sorry. He's good. Use it. Did you ask for a sentence? Sentence. After playing in the snow for hours, the children were grateful for warm cups of cocoa. Okay. Cocoa. C-O-C-O. -C -O. Cocoa. I'm sorry, but that is okay. incorrect. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is... Wait, wait, oh. I thought he had to spell it. No, well, you don't use the same word again. Okay, We right. move on to the I'm next sorry. word. Yeah, no, you're it's fine. Okay. It's C-O-C-O-A. Okay. Yes, yes, but either way, you have it's earned yourself a. an invitation to the all county. I knew it was an A, and I just... Yeah, I... I know, it, it's tough. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough one. Okay, um, it looks like we're down to... Yeah, this is uh, Dil uh, Dylan, right? Yep, yep. Okay, Dylan, you have to answer the next two correctly Ooh. in order to win, okay? Your first word is nutrients. Nutrients. N U T R I E N T S. Nutrients. Yes, yes, well done. So, this next word, if you spell it correctly, you will win. The word is um, scarcely. S C A R C T L Y. Scarcely. Dylan, congratulations. <laughs> you are the winner. Well done. And kudos to you, sir. And well done to the three of you. Nice job, guys. Yeah. Very well done. Very okay. Oh, yes, well done. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very for cool. being my buddy up here. Yeah. yeah. So let's get you all in the picture. Uh, Just background picture, maybe. Yeah, once you stand right there, I need all three of you in there. Are you guys going to the elementary then? Do you do the elementary? Three, and now she's going to take them out. Uh, Hold on, let me get one to post and then I can take them out. Okay, I have, a, <laughs> right. I have a card for you. I have to run down to the office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The elementary one's happening next. Oh, we're doing the elementary one next. Yeah, that's just fine. No.
there at one o'clock. I don't know. They didn't tell me. They didn't reach out to me about it. Yeah. If they didn't reach out to you, then okay, it's great. Thank you. Oh, of course, of course, of course. If you ever need anything like this, just let me know. Yeah. This is what I haven't. This is so exciting. Oh wait. Does this need to be? Thanks for uh, letting me use that. She's right down there at ESC, so it's not too far. 